make the playoffs. And joining now is the head football coach at Rice University, David Bailiff. David, so great to have you Thank here. You. Great All right, to buddy. be here. Wow. History making. Three winning seasons in a row. That hasn't happened at Rice since the 40s, buddy. Well, you know what? It's been it's been a lot of fun. It truly has been when you, you have you. I've been in all their homes, you know, so I've recruited every young man there. And I didn't choose them. They chose us. And it is a fantastic locker room where you just have everybody rowing the same direction. It's a lot of fun going to work every day. So what would this mean to have four winning seasons in a row coming off that Hawaii Bowl win? Yeah, what's well, amazing, you look at our players like Luke Turner, that have played for us since they're a true freshman. You know, they've been to three straight bowls, won a conference title on the biggest win streak in the history of Rice. And he's got a chance to leave. Th this senior class has what a chance to leave a yeah. legacy that's never happened before at Rice. And you have, what, eight starters back? I have eight starters, really more. Uh, we don't count Stu Mooch and Toff, who oh, had started the injured. year before. That's right. Nine. But we have a lot of guys that have some significant playing experience, but they didn't start. All right. Your guys, doctors and lawyers and such, once they, once they get into the real world, and you have 11 players in NFL camps right now? That's and it, you know, we're so proud of them. They were all two stars. Actually, two of them were unranked. You're talking so, two star instead of five star right. athletes. So yeah. they came there and they just worked and they developed. And, you know, the amazing thing, really, nine of them have already graduated. Two of them will graduate. You know, they're, they're, uh, they, they will. Their parents will make sure that they do. So we're really proud of that. You know, to have 11 guys in NFL camps at, from Rice University, that's a lot of fun. It makes getting up in the morning, too, and, you know, looking at the camps going on, how they're doing, because you, you pull, really pull for them. Yeah, and it inspires young men on your team now. I'm talking with Dreyfus the other day. It inspires these guys. Okay, I want to show you a little video. We're talking about guys in NFL camps. See if you recognize this player. Let's take a look. It happened in Richmond, Virginia. Look at number 95 for the Texans. He looks familiar to me. <laughs> Christian Covington, <laughs> the rookie, and he was working out the Redskins offensive lineman. They couldn't stop him the other day in practice. You know, he's an amazing young man. He's For his size, he's got linebacker built, linebacker feet, linebacker quickness, but he's at 300 pounds. You know, we couldn't block him in conference just. They couldn't block him at practice. We actually <laughs> had to put him next to me when we really wanted to scrimmage because he was just that dominating, you know, at the line of scrimmage where we couldn't get anybody better. So we said, Christian, come on, water break. Stand by me. <laughs> All right. I want to show you what one of his teammates and his current head coach over at the Texans is saying about Christian Covington. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's a good player. He, uh, he has good hands, good feet. He listens. He's very smart. Um, you can tell he knows what he's doing out there, and that's good out of a rookie. Uh, I think he's a hardworking kid. I, I think he's a very serious kid. He's a, he, he brings a really good work ethic to the field every day. He was well coached at Rice. You know, you can tell like he knows different ways to rush the pass or different ways to take on blocks. There, he brings a good work ethic to the field every day. <laughs> How cool is that? That's great to hear. You, you love hearing <laughs> that he, you know, really he worked hard the day he got there, and he never. The greatest players are the ones that are your hardest workers. And all our guys in NFL camps, really, they are the hardest workers the day they got there. And that's how Christian was raised. And, you know, he did. He showed up every day, and his goal was to get better. He's still showing up, working his tail off. That's good to see. It's going to be fun to watch him. Of course, his dad was a star in the CFL, all-time sack leader. Okay, real quickly, Dreyfus Jackson and company, how good can this team be in 2015? I think we have a chance to really be one of the best teams since we've been there because uh, one of the big reasons is Dreyfus Jackson. You know, he threw for three, th right at 3,000 yards last year, but he takes care of the football. You know, going, we only had 12 turnovers on the right. year last year, four Incredible. fumbles, and a lot of that's because of the decisions he makes with the ball in his hands. All right, David, thanks so much. Thanks, enjoy Good it. Good luck. Thank you. Come All see All right, us. David Bale, the head coach at Rice University.